What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Central and welcome to the channel. Now, it's been a really long time. Like a really long time. Around four months to be exact. I apologize, we'll get to that in a minute. So I've got some cool things to talk about as well. We're going to be experimenting now. I bought some new stuff for the channel. Usually how I vlog is just my phone. All I'm doing is holding my phone away Wish I had a mirror or something you guys could see. Let's see, maybe this will work. All I do is hold the phone away from me with my hand. That's all I do, just like this. Now, I got this set up right here to see if I could get a little bit better content for you guys. So I've got tripod, also hold it by hand with the Rode video mic. So maybe I can get better audio content whenever I'm doing events. That's what kills me when I go and do events is that the wind noise absolutely kills all the footage, which it just sucks. It really sucks. So I haven't been doing a lot of content, but that's not the reason I haven't been doing a lot of content. Actually, real quick, let's stop. Let's put this on and you guys can tell me in the comments below if you like me doing this better, if you like how it sounds, or if you like it better with the mic. Ready? Okay, so now we're on the tripod setup with the external mic. Hopefully we like this. The thing that I'm not liking about it so far is that the setup is a little heavy, it's all metal. And I think the microphone is giving the camera micro jitters in the film and with the steadiness because it shakes just a little bit up there. <sighs> Haven't decided. You guys tell me in the comments below which one you like better. I still think this will be better for events. Now, the tripod is also nice. I can set it up here if I really want it to. Let's see, sorry, there we go, uh, yeah, yeah. And I can talk to you guys like this, away from the camera, which will be beneficial for other circumstances because when I'm just holding a phone, I can't just set it down somewhere. It's, it doesn't work that way. But as you can see, we got my Silverado, which, She has no heart. It's time to get this thing back on the road, get some content. I got a bunch of little stuff that I want to do for this truck, for the, for the channel. We haven't done any 300 content because, frankly, I had a lot of personal stuff going on in my life and I didn't know if I was going to keep it or if I need it to sell it. I'm still in limbo. I have a buyer for it if I want to sell it. And that buyer is a close person to me, which means I would still be able to use it and take it and go do things, and the car would be in safe hands. I don't know. I'll try to go do maybe drag strip or some other events, but it is November now, so I don't know how much time I actually have to get much content before it just gets too cold. Now, Silverado, we've got the 5.3 over here. It's built for the most part. And then I have my old... 4.8 right here on the ground, which I did in turn. All right, here, I'm gonna see if I can do this. I did have a lifter go bad on that 4.8. Pretty bad, actually. So, we was right. I'm glad that I actually tore it apart. It could have been a cheap fix. I could have had the truck back on the road a long time ago instead of building a whole nother motor, but where's the fun in that, right? You know, car guys, we don't leave shit alone. Don't know if you saw this in the background. I also have a daily now. Um, not the ideal daily, but it's an O2 F250. Long story short, my dad bought it brand new in O2. It's mine now because his health problem, he's had health problems and he can't drive it anymore. So it's not the most ideal daily. That guy has a really nice Copo Camaro in his garage too, by the way. Um, it is a two door, or two, it's two wheel drive, four door, long bed. I love it. I've been driving this truck since I learned to drive. Fun, fun. I've done wheels and I lowered the rear a little bit, just did a shackle drop on it. We still have got some stuff to do to it. If you can see, the paint is bad on it, so that means it's getting wrapped too. So that means everything I own will be wrapped. 
that's to come. Like I said, I've had money going to more important things right now. But I, like I said, man, I've missed you guys. I've missed doing this. I just haven't had content to provide you. And I don't like putting out bullshit content. Some people do. Some people will just put out a video just to put out a video. I'm not one of those guys. So I'm going to start trying to figure out things that I can do to provide you guys value. Now, again, I showed you the daily. That F-250 is going to start getting some love. The Silverado is going to be getting some love. And I miss this thing, guys. This thing didn't get much love because this was at the beginning of the channel before it really grew. But I miss this thing. And we've got long tubes, Catless mids, true duels, all speed engineering exhaust going with the TSP Stage 2 Cam 5.3. Woo, it's going to sound good. Sorry. Can't wait for that. Really, really, really excited to get that thing going. Oh, what else? What else? I think I'm... I, one, one more thing. One more thing. We're going to SEMA, guys. It is November 3rd, which means SEMA starts tomorrow. I'm flying out tonight. I'll be out there. If any of you guys are out there at SEMA, DM me on Instagram or Facebook. You know, whatever. Find me. Get in touch with me. I would love to meet you guys if I can. I'm already running into some other 300 guys out there. Uh, I think they're going to have their cars. One of them should have their car for sure, which means maybe I can get some content with his car, introduce him. Great guy, great guy. Um, there's, a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of people going to SEMA. I'm going to try to get in touch with as many people as I can and talk to them. I don't know how the whole vlog's going to work. I'm going to try to do a vlog each day and just kind of give you guys a little tour of SEMA at the best of my ability because if you've ever gone, you know that SEMA is a lot. And if I'm trying to see everything and vlog everything, I'm going to miss a lot in general. So, I miss you guys. I hope you guys are still there. Hope you guys watch this. And we got more content coming soon. If there's something you want to see, comment down below. Let me know what it is you want to see. Like I said, we'll try to get you some event content with the 300. I've got the Silverado stuff coming soon. F-250 stuff is going to come soon. But we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner. So we'll see what happens. I will see you guys on that next video, which should be tomorrow. I'm taking a laptop. I'm taking all this. I want to make sure that I can try to get everything uploaded day to day so that I'm not coming back and having four videos to bring you. Now, again, let me know how you like this setup. I know that I'm further away from the camera, which I like. I don't like when I'm just taking up most of the screen. This audio should be better. It's a little windy outside. I don't know if that was even coming in the mic before I put this on. But let me see if those, those micro jitters are doing anything from... Because I can see this thing shaking. And I don't know how to fix that. Sorry, the phone died. I think that's going to be an additional problem with the external mic. Because I think it's going to drain battery a lot faster than not using. Now I didn't know. I don't, I don't know. I would assume it draws battery. Not a big deal. Anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.